So today I'm gonna do a day in the life as a daycare provider, YouTuber, mother. You guys are literally gonna be with me all day. It is, focus, 7.32. I wake up at 5.30 in the morning and I film my YouTube videos. Wait, focus. So it's 7.32 in the morning, and as you guys see, I have my full face on. I film my videos early in the morning, so I wake up at 5.30, and then I film my YouTube videos. And usually, I go and I get a coffee. So today, I did that. I already got my coffee, and I made it back in time. I open at 7.30, and I usually have a family that gets here at 7.30, so I got to be ready by 7.30 for the kids. Everything's the same, except for when I don't film YouTube videos. I just wake up at 7.15 not at five o'clock in the morning. I wake up at 7.15, brush my teeth, brush my hair, dress up in like leggings with like a t-shirt, and then I'm already ready. So today is one of those days where I did YouTube already. I have my, my stuff filmed already, and then I got my coffee. Now, since my kid is still not here, he usually is here at 7.30, so he's already late. Like he's literally 7.30 on the dot. So since he's not here right now, I'm feeding my cats and then I'm gonna organize a little bit because I didn't organize yesterday and my house is a little bit of a mess. So you guys are gonna organize with me. Okay, so I just got a text message from the parent and she says good morning, um, that he's going to be coming, the baby's gonna be coming soon, but she's not bringing him, the grandma's bringing him. So that's the text message that I got. So I guess I'm awake, I'm already up, so I'm gonna have time to tidy up. Usually that doesn't happen. He's usually here every day, early in the morning. That's good, because like I said, I have to tidy up a little bit. So I like to come into the daycare and open up the blinds because it's really dark. So I go ahead and I open up the blinds. Um, a little bit the sun rises from that side so it makes like a big difference and then open up this one and then i turn on the ac so i also had sorry it was loud um i also had a student unenroll his last day was on friday and his pack and play is still up so i'm gonna go ahead and condense that because i don't need it anymore you get me This is my sign-in binder, okay? I always go through it to make sure that I have um, updated sign-in sheets. So these ones are full all the way to the bottom and I made them new ones last week. So I need to put them in because when the parents come today, they're gonna be signing these. So it's now 7.52, not 8.52. 7.52 and there's still nobody here? I'm like procrastinating with this cleaning thing <laughs> but um i did have some parents that paid me this morning let me get my coffee where's my coffee so i'm going to make them receipts i'll show you guys how i do that so i buy these books from sam's club and then i go ahead and i make the receipts here on these sheets this is what they look like and then i rip it out and then i give the parents theirs and then i keep the yellow copy can you see the yellow copy so um, I like transfers or like leads to the back. I like to do my receipts as the weeks go. I don't want to wait too long because then I'm doing like a million receipts. So I had one, two, three parents that paid me this morning, like literally just now. So I'm going to go ahead and write them the receipts. It's, and then when I'm done with the receipts, I stick them in uh, this part of their binder. So the parents know, you see there's one here for example. So this receipt, it just put it in there and then the parents could go ahead and they grab it from there. If there's anything that I have to give the parents, like a note or I need a paper filled out, I always leave it in this one because when they open up to sign up, they can see it here, if that makes sense. I know I'm getting into detail, but I'm literally showing you guys like what I do as a daycare provider. So the parent paid me for this week. So I write the receipt number here on the side so that they know that they paid. So I just pulled this sheet. This is the ones that um, were in the binder. Just so you guys can see the receipt number, receipt number, receipt number, receipt number, receipt number. And that's like what it's gonna look like. And then you see the sheet when the kids 
was signed in and then when they were signed out. That makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start making the pancakes. I already know what kids are gonna be here in time. So breakfast in my house is from 8 to 8.45. So from 8 to 8.45 I cook, I clean the kitchen, and I wrap up breakfast. That's like my time frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and make them their breakfast. So it's 8.19, Lucas is awake. There's still nobody else here, but Lucas is awake. I'm starting the pancakes, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. There we go, thank you. He wants me. So we use paper plates for the kids, so these are just white bowls. We get them at Sam's Club. I'll cut their pancake up, I'll put it in here, and then I give them a fork so they can eat. And then when they're done, all of the kids know that they need to throw their stuff away. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly which pancakes I use. This is the mix that I use. It's from Sam's Club. Kids love this pancake. Oh, Anthony's awake now. Look, they're gonna go hug each other. <laughs> that was my niece. This is the pancake mix that I use. It's really good. The kids love it. It's already down to here. I've gone through these a lot, but the kids love pancakes, and this is a 10-pound bag of mix. And then Lucas loves sausage, so I like to make him these sausages. These we get from Publix, and they're okay. I like them. I'm trying to find better ones I'm trying to find better priced ones because for this bag it might look like a lot it's what 36 approximately 36 links this is right there it goes really fast so I'm trying to find like a bigger bag for the kids at the daycare because it's really to me it's expensive I'm gonna make some for Lucas because he doesn't really like pancakes but I want him to eat so he likes sausages so I'm gonna make him some sausages he had oatmeal yesterday so I don't want to give him oatmeal again so I'm gonna make him some sausages I'm just restocking the waters in the fridge because we need water Oh, I already have water. <laughs> it's okay. And then um, I'm just filling up the kids' cups. Their cups were washed from the weekend. So I just fill up all of their cups with water. I leave the water on the counter in front of me. I'll show you guys in a second so that the kids have water readily available for them. So they know whenever they want water, they just come, grab theirs, and they can drink it. If that makes sense. So I'm just getting their cups ready. I have everybody's pancake. I just covered it with a napkin. And then I put their fork on the top so that when they get here, take the napkin off, and then put some syrup on it. It should stay warm under the blanket. If it's not warm, I'll just warm it up for them. So this is the area that I have. Everybody has their cup, everybody knows their color. So I have the cups right here, so whenever they want, if they're playing, they can come here and grab it. If they're eating, they can come here and grab their cup. And then this, I just keep this area like that. So it is now 9-11, and I only have one kid. I know that they're all on their way, but dang guys, I wanted this video to be a little bit more interesting. Right now we're supposed to be learning our lesson, but because the kids still have to eat when they get here, we're not gonna do the lesson until a little bit later. During nap time, I teach Anthony. If you guys aren't familiar with my channel or who I am, I have two kids, they're both boys. One is five and the other one is two. My five-year-old is homeschooled. I have um, a couple of videos on my channel and on my blog channel about homeschooling so i homeschool him during nap time so nap time is around 12 15 from 12 15 to like 2 30 so i take that time to teach my oldest his homeschooling stuff so i'm just gonna go ahead and tidy up the kitchen until the other kids get here and then feed them and and we will do our lesson so it's 9 14 right now and i'll see you guys in a little bit Two in the morning. I just finished doing the lesson with the kids. I have to start cooking lunch for them soon. It's 10 22. I'm gonna start around 10 45. I'm gonna make them something super simple because a lot of them got here super late. They're probably still full from the pancakes, so I'm not gonna make them something too heavy. Usually, usually we do like rice or spaghetti or stuff like that, but I'm not gonna make them anything too heavy. So I'm gonna do that in a little bit. I'm just gonna set an alarm so that I can make them their lunch. All right, so I just finished cleaning up the entire daycare. All of the toys are organized, and now I'm gonna set up the daycare for nap time. Ready? <laughs> So yeah, I just put the cots on the floor and every kid has, majority of them have two blankets. There's only one that doesn't have two blankets. So I put the cot and then I put one on the bottom and then one goes on top of them when they lay down. So I also have my pad ready. So with the changing mat, 
It's really good. It's easy to clean, so if anything happens, you can just clean it, wipe it down with a chemical or whatever to sanitize. And then I have the diapers and then the wipes for the child. So Michael wipes are right here with his diaper and then Xavier's are with his. They're the only two in diapers. Everybody else is potty trained. So when they're done eating, I change them and then I lay them down for nap. Because I have a home daycare, it's very small. It's not a big one. I'm allowed to have a changing mat, not a changing table, if that makes sense. Just in case anybody's like, oh, why don't you have a changing table and not a mat? I don't have space for it. So as you guys can see, every corner in this room is occupied with something. I'm gonna feed them their snack, change them, have them lay down, and then I gotta start to homeschool Anthony. So as you guys can see, I'm like on the go, on the go, on the go all day, and then days where I wake up at five o'clock in the morning to film, it's a lot. So that's why I always get my coffee because I need to stay awake because we do do a lot as daycare providers. I'm speaking for myself because I know that there are a lot of home daycares where you see them, they have like a whole bunch of pie chairs and they sit the kids in front of the TV all day. I'm not one of those daycares. I do things with my kids. I have kids from my daycare that are here from other home daycares where they have so many kids, which by law you're not allowed to have too many kids, but they have a lot of kids they don't do anything with the kids. It's just easier for them, I guess, to sit them in front of a TV. I don't do that. The only time I do TV is the first 30 minutes of the day, and then sometimes the last 30 minutes of the day or the last hour, depending on what's going on. All right, guys, so it is currently 4.33 p.m. It's 4.33 p.m. My kids already ate snack. If you guys see, the table's a mess over there. So, at this time, the kids are fed. Now they have inside play, so they're playing inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sanitize the tables and chairs. I sanitize them every single day. You don't know if anybody is sick, anybody's going to get sick, so we like to make sure that everything is sanitized and clean. So that's what I'm gonna do. While my partner supervises the kids, and then, what else? I think that's it. So at this point, it's 4.33. We're just waiting for parents to come and pick up the kids. A lot of the kids should be leaving around 5-ish today, except for one child that she stays a little bit later. So that basically wraps up this video. That's basically what I do in an entire day. It's one thing after the other after the other in the morning. Like the morning is the most hectic thing because you got to do everything in the morning. So after nap time, everything is a little bit more easier because you're just doing snack and then they have inside play up until parents come. So we either have inside or outdoor play and today we're doing inside play and then we just wait like I said for the parents to come and pick up the kids. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here and yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys have any questions leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you guys in my next one.